Catchy OS July 2025 release. Welcome to 9 to 5 Linux, where we explore the exciting world of Linux and open source software. Today, we are diving into something special, the Catchy OS July 2025 release. This is the fifth update of the year for Catchy OS, one of the most performance optimized Linux distribution out there. And it's packed with features and improvements that you won't want to miss. Whether you are a desktop user, a gamer, or someone interested in handheld devices. This release has something for everyone. So, let's get started. Let's first start with the introduction to the Catch OS. Catch OS is an Arch Linux based distribution known for its focus on performance, customization, and gaming. It's designed to be fast, responsive, and feature rich making it a favorite among enthusiasts who demand the best from their Linux experience. The July 2025 release continues this tradition by introducing long-awaited features, stability, improvements, and enhancements tailored for both desktop and handheld users. Now, let's talk about the key features of the July 2025 release. Let's break down the highlights of this release. Choose your shell at installation. One of the most requested feature is finally here. The ability to choose your preferred shell during installation. Now, when you are setting up CatUS, you can select between Fish and ZSH, both of which come with pre-configured setups for smooth experience. If you don't choose either, the system defaults to Bash. However, Fish remains the default shell for CatUS. So if you are a fan for its modern features and user-friendly interface, you can stick with it. This flexibility means you can tailor your terminal experience right from the start, without needing to tweak configuration files after installation. Now, improvements for KDE Plasma users. So if you are using the KDE Plasma desktop, you will notice some significant changes. CatUS now defaults to the VLAN session for Plasma installations. Wayland is known for its better performance and security compared to the traditional x.r server. But don't worry if your hardware doesn't support Wayland like older NVIDIA graphics cards. The system will automatically install the Plasma X11 session as a fallback, ensuring you still get a smooth experience. Additionally, FWPD has been added to both Plasma and GNOME environments allowing you to easily update your device firmware directly from the system. Now, gaming enhancements. Gamers, this one is for you. The Mesa Dash Kit package now includes support for AMD's Anti-Lag 2, a feature that can significantly reduce latency in supported games. If you are using Proton Dash CacheOS, which is CacheOS custom version of Proton for gaming, you'll also get anti-lag 2 support. Even better, Proton CatchUS introduces a new environment variable called Proton FSR4 upgrade. When set, it automatically downloads the latest FSR4 DLL and replaces the existing one, allowing games that support FSR 3.1 to upgrade it to FSR4 for improved performance. Proton CatchUS has also received numerous patches for better WineWayland integration and improved anti-cheat support, making it even more compatible with a wide range of games. Now, Firefox updates. In the browser department, CatchUS has made some changes. The Catchy browser package has been dropped, but don't worry, there are better options now. You can install CatchUS Firefox settings on top of the standard Firefox installation to apply CatchUS specific tweaks. Alternatively, there is Firefox Pure, a pre-compiled and optimized version of Firefox that includes these settings out of the box. Both options promises a faster and more efficient browsing experience. Now, Handheld Editions Improvements For handheld gaming enthusiasts, the handheld edition of CatchOS has been updated to support the Lenovo Legion Go. And it's been thoroughly validated 
by the Catcher's team. This means you can enjoy a seamless experience on these popular handheld devices. Additionally, there are several configuration improvements, including importing tweaks from Steam OS for better handheld performance, setting the minimum quantum for PiFire to 256 for smoother audio, installing Galileo Muro for Steam Deck OLED to enhance display quality, adding support for the Lenovo Legion Go S a more affordable variant. Now, stability and fixes. Stability is always a priority, and this release addresses some key issues. First, the handling of the keyring during installation has been improved, with multiple retries to prevent failures. The second one, which is SystemD OOMD integration, has been removed due to reports of a killing process too early. This should make the system more stable, especially for users running resource-intensive applications. So how to update the CatchOS? If you're already using CatchOS, updating to this new release is simple. Just open your terminal and run sudo pacman-syu. This will ensure you are up to date with all the latest features and improvements. Now, why this release matters? The Catchy OS July 2025 release is a significant step forward for both desktop and handheld users. It offers customization. Choose your shell right from the start. Performance, VLAN by default for Plasma, along with gaming enhancements like Anti-Lag 2 and FSR 4 support. For the stability, fixes for keyring handling and removal of problematic SystemD OOMD integration. And for the handheld support, improved compatibility with devices like the Lenovo Legion Go and System Deck OLED. Whether you are a power user who loves tweaking your system, a gamer looking for the best performance, or someone who values stable and efficient Linux distribution, this release has something for you. And now finally, the conclusion. So there you had folks, the CatchUS July 2025 release is a game changer, bringing long awaited features, performance boosts, and improved stability. If you haven't tried CatchOS yet, now might be the perfect time to give it a shot. It's free, open source, and designed to deliver an exceptional Linux experience. And if you're already on board, make sure to update your system to enjoy all these exciting new features. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates from the world of Linux. See you next time. Peace out.